Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. For today's video, I have another foundation review and demo for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking all about the new Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. confusing I was trying to do some research on this foundation and what I came across because this actually isn't showing up on Maybelline's website right now this particular packaging and everything like that what I think the background is of this foundation is that it came out about a year ago overseas and it came out in a different packaging and I think a slightly different formula but still the whole same concept and then they just released it literally like a couple days ago just released it to the states here but I believe that they repackaged it and they also I think reformulated it and I say I think because I noticed the one that came out a year ago had SPF 20 in it this has SPF 15 I was just kind of assuming well if they're gonna change the sunscreen in it they probably may have changed the whole formula as well let me know down below if you know any more information I was trying to search on their website trying to search everywhere and I couldn't find that information so don't hold me to it but Please let me know if um, you guys know the whole background of this foundation. But like usual, I'm going to take you guys through the demo portion first so you can see it being applied to the skin, how I blend it out and all that good stuff. And then we're going to talk about the facts and break it down, the pros and cons, all of that as well. So let's get started. of this foundation and let's get into the facts so it comes in a beautiful packaging I actually really like the way that this is all packaged and we do get a pump so very nice and sanitary though the pump is kind of a pain to work with or mine is at least it takes quite a few pumps to get product out um, I don't know if it's just a malfunctioning uh, pump that I have other information it does come in your typical standard 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce retails for $9.98 and I got mine at Walmart and like I mentioned earlier, it does have that SPF of 15 in there, which is awesome. In terms of the claims of this foundation, basically it's going to be better for your skin. So over the period of time, it's going to help improve your skin, help clear it up. It has an antioxidant in there, which I will just insert right here because I'm not about to butcher that. But basically over time, it's supposed to help clear up your skin and make it look more healthy, radiant, youthful, and just beautiful. It also does claim to be an all-day color wear, so it's supposed to be very long-lasting. And from what I read about the previous packaging, that it's supposed to be more of like a luminous, kind of radiant, glowy, hydrating foundation. But on the other side of that, it is oil-free. So I do have oily skin, you guys know this, but a little funny story is I actually um, got sunburnt the other day. And I was wearing sunscreen, and I was only outside for an hour, but it was really, really hot. And so I do have some dry spots, you know, right around my forehead area, in my hairline, on my nose. And the first couple of times that I used this, it was really bad. So, of course, it did cling on to it. But today, when I applied it, and you'll see in the demo, it did not cling to my dry patches or uh, peeling skin. So that's good to know as well. And as for the oils, I think it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks natural I feel like. So let's get into my own personal thoughts. For me I think this applies beautifully to the skin. I do prefer using a damp beauty blender or beauty sponge to apply it just because I help I feel like that helps kind of blend everything out and makes it a thinner layer because this is kind of a thicker formula like you can see a pump there it's not gonna slide down my skin and for reference I am in the shade 85 Sun Beige which I believe is the third to the deepest shade that they have. 
In terms of shade selection, this foundation comes in 12 different shades, which you guys know me. I like to have my foundations come in like 20 different shades. I just feel like that really helps cater to everybody. I'll blend it out for you guys so you can see it's very creamy and... It kind of has like a luminous finish if you look like this. Some other ones like Revlon Colorstay does not glow like this on your skin. And what I like about it is that when it dries, it dries almost to like a powder finish, I feel like, where you don't feel it on your skin at all. In terms of the coverage, I find I get about a medium coverage out of this. You guys probably saw it in the demo, I did some close-ups where you can still see some of my scarring peeking through a couple um, active breakouts or ones that are just clearing up now, but you can still see them with just one layer. But I do find this to be a buildable foundation. It is very creamy. It's not the most lightweight foundation in terms of feeling on your skin, but again, when it dries that's when it really turns into like that light powder finish. Let's take a little bit to set though and I also find this is a foundation that I like better as the day goes on. Me personally I love foundations that do that because I like putting it on and be like okay that looks good but then checking in maybe like three hours later and be like wow my skin looks really good. So that's what I really like about this. As for the skin benefits I haven't noticed anything yet but I will of course keep you guys updated while I keep using that. I'm assuming it is going to take a couple weeks if not longer than that to notice skin benefits. In terms of the pros, I love the packaging of this. I love that pump. Very sanitary, like I said. And it's very sleek. I don't think I mentioned, but it is a glass bottle, so you do want to be careful with it if you're clumsy like I am. You want to make sure you have it in a spot that's not going to be easily tipped over, because it will break. Another pro is that it has SPF in it, and that it's oil-free. Those are all really good things to me. So I really like the texture of it. Like I mentioned, it's very creamy, easy to work with. I like the finish of it, and the longevity. I find this to be a pretty long-lasting foundation, and like I mentioned, I really like how it wears throughout the day. It just looks better almost. Better skin foundation. I see what they did there. In terms of the cons, I don't have really many cons at all except for the shade selection. Oh, and the price is also a pro. I'm kind of all over the place. The price is also a pro. It's under that $10 mark at Walmart at least, which I love because that's very affordable. Overall opinion, do I think it's worth picking up? Absolutely. Who do I think this would be best for? I think, honestly, they claim that it's going to work for all skin types. And so far, I do believe that. You guys know me, my oily skin, and I personally love the way that this looks. And then those of you who have dry skin, it is supposed to be hydrating and kind of like a more leaning toward the luminous side of the foundation so I think you'd really like it as well. I don't find it to really like cling on hardcore to any of my little peeling parts that I have right now. But yeah, I feel like everybody should give this foundation a go. Guys, so that concludes this video. Those are my thoughts on the foundation. Let me know down below if you've tried this foundation. What are your current thoughts on it? I'm curious. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye. This would not be a Maybelline Favorites without the Vivids collection. This is when I think Maybelline really shined in the lipstick category because they were pretty much the first brand at the drugstore to come out with bold, bright lipsticks. So I have a couple...